For those of you that are new to my channel, I often talk about a women's organization that I belong to called Sisters on the Fly. And in a little while, you're going to meet somebody from Sisters on the Fly that's been a member a lot longer than I have to share some insights with you. But let me just say, one of the things that sisters often do when they are not traveling themselves is offer to host sisters that are on the road a place to safely park in front of their house, you know, on their curb there, um, in their driveway, sometimes on their land. It's just such a welcoming feeling to know that you're going to be staying at another Sisters on the Fly place in a safe neighborhood with somebody who's so welcoming. I have stayed with sisters in every state that I've traveled in. So before I go on, I want to mention just a few of them. There was Janice in Central California. She was the first sister that I stayed with. Pam in Utah, Nancy in Colorado, Luann in Kansas, Mary Ruth in Wisconsin, Penny in Wisconsin, Karen in Michigan, Karen in Ohio, Cindy in Massachusetts, Lori in Connecticut, and Gay, who you'll meet shortly in Maryland. The list goes on because I've invited to curb, as we call it, in Virginia, North Carolina, Tennessee, Kentucky, Missouri, Arkansas, Texas, Oklahoma, New Mexico, and Arizona as I head back home to Southern California. So when I get back to Southern California, I'm going to connect with the sisters in my area and join their events. Sisters on the Fly with all its subgroups like Sisters on the Curb is a welcoming community full of adventurous women. Women who love to get together and have fun. I encourage you to get involved and join what I have come to know as the best women's organization with members most likely in your own hometown as well as across the United States. So let's go in and meet Gay. Let me show you her trailer that she travels in first and then see if she'll give us a tour. So this is what the outside of her trailer looks like. And it has a slide out right there. Very nice. And she just tows it with um, her Grand Cherokee. Welcome to my trailer. If you turn this way, <laughs> here's the dining room. Okay. And the living room. How cute is this? And this is the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Nice. And I have a convection microwave. So I can bake in it as well as microwave in it. A nice fridge. Does it have a freezer in it too? It has a freezer in it. Mm -hmm. Two burner stove. Oh, wow. Is that propane then? Propane. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, and now you're in the bedroom. And then I have a wet bath, which is like a spa. You have to see what I mean by that. Okay. All right. Oh, I see. So then the water just drains there. Yeah. So you are what's called a wrangler for Sisters on the Fly. And that's a pretty special position. Even though it's voluntary, it's still a very special position to people like me who really just re recently joined. You know, so tell our viewers <laughs> um, a little bit more about Sisters on the Fly. Because when I was first looking at it a couple of years ago, I was under the impression that it was all women who had all these fancy vintage trailers. Even though I wanted to go camping, I didn't think that I would fit in. It wasn't until I really dug down and did a little bit more investigating that I found out everybody's welcome who loves to camp. Yes, yes. 
you know, no matter what you have or whether you even have anything to camp in. Right, right. Yeah. So Sisters on the Fly is really, um, I would say, about community, building community among women mm -hmm. and women supporting one another. So I'm co-wrangler for uh, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Maryland, and Delaware. And we're part of the larger Mid-Atlantic Appalachian region, but we have four states that, that we wrangle. And I have a co-wrangler named Elaine, uh, who we work together and, uh, and wrangle or herd all the cats in our area. <laughs> so, right. Um, and so then you have hosts that then contact you about wanting to host an event? Right, right. So and they're uh, all volunteers? Yes, uh, we're all volunteers. So... If a sister wants to host an event, normally they'll get in touch with their wranglers first and we'll talk about what they want to do. And when you host an event, um, it's really your party and you get to decide how you want to set it up and what you want to do. Uh, you can do anything as simple as getting together for lunch or a dinner or going to a show or a craft show or something like that. Or you can do a weekend of camping and we'll talk through what you want that to look like, um, how to find a campground, um, whether they can set aside spots for sisters to reserve campsites, um, whether you want to have activities as part of your event, uh, whether you're going to charge a fee for those events, uh, or whether you're going to do it as pay as you go. Um, it's really not all that difficult, um, but a new sister who's host or a, a new hostess usually wants to talk through some of those kinds of things. And sometimes they can have uh, other people get involved, too, and yeah, help so, them. It's not just single one person right, doing right. everything. So, yeah, we often um, suggest that you find someone to co-host with you, because it's nice to have somebody to bounce ideas off of. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, and if you don't know anybody already, we might be able to suggest somebody to help you co-host. Right. Yeah. Terrific. And there's also different groups, like depending on what your interests are. Right. So a lot of our communication takes place on Facebook. We also do email because we know that not everybody is on Facebook. But if you're on Facebook, we have some specialty Facebook groups for people who are interested. And they range from anywhere from cast iron cooking. Uh, we have a book group on Facebook. We have uh, women who like to sew. We have women who like to bake and cook. We have women, uh, we have a paddling sisters for canoeing and kayaking. Uh, we have sisters who've served in the military who connect on Facebook. Um, what are some of the other ones? Sisters with about? a tent. Sisters with a tent. SWAT. Sisters with S -W -A -T. a van. Sisters with a van. Mm -hmm. um, because uh, even though, as Elaine said, it looked when she first looked at Sisters on the Fly, it looked like everybody has vintage campers. I would say the vast majority of women do not have vintage campers. They're very cute, so they get spotlighted yeah. on the website, but. Um, women are welcome to camp in whatever way works for them so if they have a newer trailer or if they camp in a tent or if they don't like to camp in a tent and they want to come to an event where there's a cabin that's available um, all of those options are welcome yeah and is it just women only or yes women only mm -hmm. women only occasionally uh, if a hostess wants to host an event we, uh, that includes their husbands or their partners, then um, they would make that a sister mister event. And it would be sister very, mister. A okay. sister mister event. And that would be very clear in the description of the event that misters are welcome um, so that everybody knows that it's not just women only. Mm -hmm. Now, a sister mister event does not mean you have to have a mister. You can still come by yourself, um, but just know that there will be some misters around the uh, campfire and at the various activities that take mm -hmm. place on that mm -hmm. event. And what happens around the campfire? I've been to the luncheons, the meet and greets, mm -hmm. but I have not been to an actual big event yet that's right. like at a campground where a group of people have gotten together. I don't know what happens around the campfires. Just... A lot of connection, a lot of talking, a lot of laughing. Sometimes somebody might bring a ukulele and play and sing. And we have ukuleles. We have that's another face another group. specialty group is called uh, ukuleles. So yeah. women who like to play ukuleles, and we have also guitar players and uh -huh. some other instrument players who follow that group as well. Mm -hmm. um, but around the campfire, it's just a really nice place to um, so you know to to ch chat chat, um, go over your day. Maybe talk about what you might want to do the next day. Um, a lot of times if you're at an event and um, 
there might be a group of women who want to go hiking on a particular trail and they might make those plans around the campfire. Um, a lot of stories are told, like mm -hmm. I said, a lot of laughter, a lot of connection takes place around mm -hmm. campfires in the evening. Just like sister to sister, huh? Yes, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yep. Awesome. Well, I can't wait to attend a big event. I've yep. got a couple of planned actually for next year. Yeah. Um, and a lot of, I was just thinking a lot of tips and suggestions yeah. are shared around the campfire as well. So, mm -hmm. you know, tips for, you know, backing up or how to deal with the Not only around the campfire, but you know, when you show up and you're setting up or you're breaking down or that sort of break, breaking camp, <laughs> mm -hmm. um, you know, just tips and suggestions from other sisters. I've learned a lot about, uh, about camping and about how to maintain my trailer and that sort of thing. Wow. That would be really, really helpful. But yeah. Especially probably the backing up. Right. I right. have never towed anything. So I'm like totally clueless. I've had RVs, but never a, a towable. Yeah. Trailer. Yeah. So. Been my host for two nights, mm -hmm. right? And it's been great. Really enjoyed it a lot. You remotely welcomed me into your home and um, got a bunch of people together that um, we met last night and had dinner together. That was a lot of fun to meet other sisters in your yeah. area. Yeah. Yeah. That was really nice. It was nice for us, too. Yeah. Because uh, some of those sisters we haven't met yet. And, mm -hmm. uh, it was just really nice. To hear all their different stories it and was. their different interests. And, yeah. Yeah. So it was really Connect nice. Connect like that. Really nice. Awesome. And we, we met outside, so it was perfectly safe. Mm-hmm. Yep. yep. Outdoor dining. Mm-hmm. Good thing.